Hey guys, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to route the official build of Android 5.0 Lollipop. I'll be doing this on my Nexus 5, but it should be a very similar process on any of the Nexus devices. Now Chainfire has released an auto route zip that actually makes it very easy, so it's not going to take very long at all. My Nexus 5 in this video is unrooted, so I'll be doing this along with you. You can see I'm on Android 5.0, and if we go ahead and check for root using the root checker app, you'll see that I don't have root access. So the first thing you're going to need to do is turn off your phone. So press and hold the power button and power off the device fully just give it a few seconds to actually do that and then you need to go into the bootloader screen so to do that you hold the volume down and power for around I don't know three to five seconds and you should be left with the screen you're seeing right here now go ahead and connect your phone via the USB cable to your PC now you can read here that you will have to unlock your bootloader for this to work and this process can actually do that for you but be aware that it will wipe all your data so make sure you've got that backed up. If you're unsure about that check your bootloader screen and next to lock state you should see either unlocked or locked and that's going to tell you all the information you need to know. Now this website is kind of long so I'm just going to search for the Nexus 5 to make it easier. Of course if you're doing this on the Nexus 4 or 7 make sure you search for the appropriate device. So we've got the build number here you can see it's Android 5.0 so go ahead and hit the download link. Once you get to this page go to the bottom and you should see another download link for CF auto root click that and it should automatically start downloading the zip file once you finish downloading that file you need to extract the content so open it up with your favorite program and extract it to a location of your choice I actually already have this extracted so I won't do it again you can see it right there on my desktop now if we open up this folder you should see the files you extracted there's options for Windows Linux and Mac now I'm just going to edit this file to see what the dot bat file is doing here you don't have to actually do this I just wanted to show you and you can see it's going to do an OEM unlock which will unlock your bootloader if it's locked and consequently will wipe your data so again make sure you have a backup of course if your device is already unlocked it won't wipe any data then it boots an image file which is included in this zip that goes to work to root your device so that's it now all you have to do is actually run it you can see we've got some info here on how it will wipe the data if your bootloader is locked as I've just mentioned and you should see a big red Android while it's going to work so we're gonna hit enter here you can see my first initial bit says failed that's because I already have the bootloader unlocked so it didn't need to do that if you get any problems here like waiting for device it means the fast boot drivers haven't recognized recognized your device and if you look in the description there is a tutorial on how to install those drivers so that should be all good for you. You can see on my Android device that we have that red Android so it is rooting and we'll just give this a few seconds but that's it you're done on your PC now so you can go ahead and just concentrate on the phone and after about 30 seconds to a minute it should start booting up and you should see that Android is upgrading section after you see the normal kind of Android boot screen there it is that's probably just going to uh, last a few seconds and we boot it up so we'll unlock the device here and first thing we'll do is we'll go into the app drawer and see if the super user APK is right there so we'll go to the end of the list and there it is you can see it has installed the super user SU and now we'll try and see if we have root so we'll open up root checker we'll hit verify root we'll give it a few seconds we should have to grant it root permissions a few more seconds and yet yeah, there's the prompt hit grant and there you go you can see congratulations the device has root access and there we go that's how easy it is Chainfire is an excellent developer and makes it very easy so all the props go to him one thing I have noticed with root on Android Lollipop is some of the apps are just broken right now with it for example ES File Explorer doesn't work there are a few other ones as well so just be aware of that a lot has changed with Lollipop and root but yeah that's it guys I'll see you in the next one peace out